CJ, your favorite scuba diver here with Deep South Divers. Our friends at Remora Marine asked us to test out their latest Remora and some of the accessories that are available. I've been testing them for just two days. At the end of day one, I had pretty much given up on the machine and found a lot of things that it couldn't do. Namely, the things that I had considered most problematic in our hull cleaning industry, like oysters and barnacles, delicate work around trim tabs, swim platforms, and running gear, that kind of stuff. I knew that the machine wasn't built for that kind of stuff anyway. But since that's usually the most time consuming aspect of what we do, I was hoping I could find a, a way to make it work. Well, I'm just a few boats into using the machine and I'll keep you updated on how that idea progresses. Yesterday, however, I found the Remora's niche. This is what it's really good at. You know that black and green algae that grows into the paint and gel coat under the stern of sailboats? Yeah, the stuff that takes forever to clean off right around the bootstripe? Boy, the Remora is a godsend for that junk. I've used various types of 3M stripping pads, brushes, and even chemicals. Some divers will use steel wool, which will get surfaces clean, but also damages the gel coat. What's worse is that the damaged gel coat then gets even nastier, quicker than before, and the cycle continues. Well, this machine totally rocks for this stuff. The boat you're looking at has bottom paint ending a full three inches below the waterline, and then a boot stripe over that, which is partially submerged. I told the client to raise the bottom paint line about six inches next time he gets her painted, but meanwhile, the remora eats this stuff for lunch. In all fairness, I've already scraped the water line with a small purdy scraping tool to get the barnacles and bases off, so the surface is smooth, but the algae has grown into the gel coat badly. Removing the stuff normally takes 30 minutes to an hour on a 34-foot sailboat like this, sometimes longer. With the remora, it only took 10 or 15 minutes, and all I had to do was basically hold the machine in place. I was shocked how easy it made this job. Bottom line, so far I have one day where I could find no use for the Remora and at best was frustrated that I bothered to bring it with me. The next day, yesterday, I was absolutely in love with it and it saved me a ton of time and effort. After all, that's the name of the game here, right? Stay posted here in the Hull Divers group and I'll post more after I have more time behind the spinning brush.